Hey there, it's Cami from the Blog Tidbits. Now today I'm going to continue on with day two of my mini series all about checkerboard flooring. Now if you haven't caught up with day one, you'll wanna do that to see the checkerboard flooring that we installed in our own home. But today I wish to inspire you with the beauty of checkerboard in other spaces so you can truly see the potential and imagine it better in your own space. Now, when I told the hubs I wanted to have black and white checkerboard tile in our mudroom area, he immediately asked, won't that look like an old diner? <laughs> so then I took the opportunity to expose him to some of my favorite images that I've been seeing to show him how timeless and classic and even old world that this look can um, be. So I wish to do the same for you today. So let's take a look at these 12 spaces that I rounded up that so perfectly feature this checkerboard flooring design. And spoiler alert, checkerboard is so much more than a retro <laughs> diner. So just take a look at this long entryway with checkerboard flooring. Seeing it in such a long stretch like that certainly convinced me it could work for our long narrow mudroom space as well. Um, I'll add here real quick, I've worked hard to find the original sources of all the images I am sharing in this series and we'll link them in the description so you can go and find them if you want to um, learn more about the space or the designer. I've also shared blog posts for each of these videos in this checkerboard flooring series. So you can check my blog at tidbits camicom if you want to kind of slow it down and really inspect each lovely image and maybe save it to your Pinterest board. So. Okay, now let me highlight this indoor-outdoor space by Studio McGee. My jaw hit the checkerboard floor when I saw it. It's a stunning space and the flooring couldn't be more beautiful. Now here is the infamous kitchen of the creative director of Duval Kitchens. I first saw it when I was watching For the Love of Kitchens on the Magnolia Network. Every stunning European kitchen they create is complete eye candy to me, but I particularly loved this collected kitchen grounded in that black and white marble flooring. And that's when I knew what tile I would choose for our own space. And don't you just love this open and airy, airy dining space with the honed marble checkerboard flooring? Um, I think they nailed it with the wood tones, the fresh greenery, these massive windows, all grounded with that contrasting black and white flooring. It's just stunning. Now let's look at this space with the cascading stairway um, and this, I feel like this is European design at the finest. I love how the checkerboard flooring looks with the oatmeal textured walls and those gorgeous stairs. Now here's another long entryway which helped me envision how lovely my own long mudroom space with checkerboard flooring could look. When I was thinking about the transition into the hardwood floors, um, for the rest of the house. But of course, you don't have to have an injury space to use this tile. It works equally well in bathrooms or laundry rooms. Just check out this beautiful bathroom with stone checkerboard flooring. Every element in the space is just drool worthy. Now, while I was looking for inspiration, I was particularly drawn to the room to room transition, like I talked about between hardwood floors and the checkerboard floors. So. I love this image because you can see how it can work for any room transition, even if it's a bigger sitting room like this, instead of maybe a mudroom or a bathroom. Now take a look at what I believe is my new favorite house on the internet. You'll have to go click over to see this entire home designed by Ham Interiors. Every space is incredible and they use this stone checkerboard flooring throughout. I love the look of the painted trim and the two styles of flooring. They have vintage elements and old world textures throughout the home that are simply gorgeous. Now here is another example of how even very stark black and white flooring can work for a more European design aesthetic. I would never define this space as a retro di diner, so hopefully this helps you see how getting the other elements of a room planned out correctly can change the vibe of checkerboard flooring completely. I was interested to see this living space with checkerboard flooring and how they didn't even place a rug in the room where you might expect to see one in this kind of living space. Now, it does feel a bit of a shame to cover up such stunning flooring and I'm actually having the same internal battle as I think about needing to place some rugs in my mudroom. 
All right, finally, let's end with this inspiration overload with this gorgeous large dining room designed by the bloggers over at Chris Loves Julia. They use supersized tiles for this supersized dining area and it works so brilliantly. I noticed about the space that you hardly have to have any other dramatic design elements to a space like this when the flooring is so impactful on its own. All right, I hope you feel inspired to explore even more about checkerboard flooring with me. I would love to hear what you think of this very timeless and trending floor design. And if you think you might have a space in your home where you could pull it off. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're not already and come on back for more checkerboard and do-it-yourself inspiration.